Okay, can you say your name? Yeah, it's Brian Howarth. All right. And uh, basically where we're at with the um, sort of organizational structure of Occupy Portland is um, we are being advised by a tax attorney to uh, make sure that we take care of all of our responsibilities and liabilities um, as to which structure would be best for us. Um, and then once we gather that information, we can bring that to the GA to kind of discuss, okay, if we are um, going to be more politically active, we need to make sure that we take care of, um, th that we go with the structure that will allow us to do lobbying. Um, also, as we discussed talking about the, um, let me continue with that. Mm -hmm. So, um, there, there hasn't been, let me clear this up first, is that there has been no structure set up, no paperwork started for any sort of organization. So no 501c3, no 501c4, no state nonprofit organization. Um, and I know that's been a big question for a lot of people is where have we already started that? You know, has somebody registered us or something like that? That's that's not something that we've done. Right. So we're still seeking information from the tax attorney. We'll be getting more of that this Wednesday. So once we have that, we'll be able to correctly advise the people as far as what's going on. Because we don't, I don't want to spread misinformation. I don't want to just tell you, you know, tell you guys what's right. best for the group. Um, without actually seeing a tax professional. Right. So, um, in, in the meantime, if anybody has any questions, feel free to contact me. Absolutely. Uh, my, my phone number is 503-840-0408, and it's brian.howarth at gmail.com. It's B-R-Y-A-N dot H-O-W-A-R-T-H at gmail.com. In the meantime, um, we've also been discussing with Mike the... Uh, the, the past proposal of the, the spending committee and we kind of discussed you know how the finance committee will be able to work with the spending committee um, and maybe they are the same thing to some degree like working within um, working within a you know a larger committee that has multiple roles something like that we you know it, we're still in the process of talking about that um, you know maybe there's a you know kind of the the legal and liability side of it there's the uh, you know the spending side of it that does the budgeting um, and then the you know uh, I don't know what the other side there'd be you know there's multiple wings to right. it so um, I think the most important thing is that we have to remain unified in it and that if we don't if we don't do that then we're going to start seeing problems because we'll see fragmentations and people working against each other instead of with each other you know so um, I don't know do you have I have a I have one yeah. more one more question. Uh, there's there's question whether we're mo moving to indoors. Uh, there seems to be uh, a, a rumor going around that a building has already been procured and that certain certain members of the movement are planning a move into a building. And so is that true to your knowledge? As far as the building is concerned, I've heard that there has been a possible donor who's, uh, we are talking with to see if there may be buildings, but I don't really know any of the details of that, and I know that there's, no been, there's been no lease sign, no agreements in that respect. Um, you know, obviously, as we're looking toward the winter, we're going to see a lot of colder weather, so it's worth looking into, but, you know, obviously these things need to be discussed with, with the GA to find out, you know, kind of what, you know, what role would that play? Is it simply office space where... You know, maybe some of the committees go and do some work and, you know, ha house equipment or something like that. Or is it, you know, have some sort of living quarters, you know, where people will be able to have people inside. I'm, I'm not aware of that. Um, as, as I get more information, I can, you know, relay that. You are the point of contact for the financial committee? Correct. Yeah, okay. I'm the finance committee, POC. So, and you um, do uh, believe that the General Assembly is a good way uh, and an effective way to communicate between the camp and people off-site? Yeah, abs I mean, I, I absolutely believe that the GA is the best thing that we have thus far. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, and that's, I guess, a political way to answer right. that question. Uh, but it, I would also personally agree that right. it, it's we a structure that exists already. It is a structure that exists already. We need to sort of define committee's roles in that as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the process is a little bit, we, I mean, what, you know, what things do committees decide on their own versus things that get taken at the GA. So that, I mean, that in itself is something that needs to be addressed. Yes. If we don't, if we don't figure that question out, then, you know, I don't, I don't know really how to proceed, you know, with certain things. We need to just define like, okay, if it's a financial decision, it's brought before the GA. If it's a structural decision, 
it's brought before the GA. If it's, you know, if we're going to have, you know, beef and broccoli for dinner versus, you know, stew, I mean, you know, then <laughs> right. those kind of things can be addressed by the committees. So we've got some work to do, and I think we just need to continue the communication to make sure that nobody's being left in the dark and we should sort of shut the rumor mill down and, you know, have truth at the forefront of our discussions. Absolutely. I would agree. I'm glad that we had this meeting. It, it was, it's nice meeting you. Yeah. And uh, I know that we can work through this without any, any uh, confrontation whatsoever. Absolutely. And I look forward to the day that we finally get a certain set system down with checks and balances and transparency so that we can be a model for the new uh, and the, even some of the existing uh, occupies right. that are going through the same thing we're going through. Absolutely. So I think we can be a national model. Uh, of unity. We already have been, and Absolutely. I'd like to keep it that way. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're doing a good thing here. All right.